How is everybody? Nice to see you. There is a tremendous opportunity ahead of us as educators, as innovators. All the opinions, the anecdotes, the research, everything shows that the way we learn is broken. So what if we take this opportunity to create the school of tomorrow today? The future of university will be like a lab where everyone can test, learn, enjoy, move, everyone related with their knowledge. And that is my dream, try to help to develop a different strategy in my country. The idea of designing a future classroom or future school, that word design, uh, I spent uh, some time with IDEO and became uh, certified in human-centered design and design thinking. I think that is pretty much the mindset, the tool set that is needed for this big project. My students come into my classroom to that place where everybody wonders why are kids running down to that classroom and how come they never want to leave because it's all about creating safe spaces for children where they feel that they are recognized and valued and that they have something to contribute. My contribution to this amazing team is a thing called Edger Protocols. It's based on the idea that we've actually been doing school incorrectly since the Victorian times where we take people and we sort them into good and bad. Edu protocols are basically lesson frameworks that can be taught easily to teachers, affordably. They're open education resource. I did TED, TEDx talks a number of years ago called um, Reimagineering Education. So it's essentially what if we designed schools and learning experiences like Disney designs theme parks. It's like, how do we use that human-centered design process to really bring uh, disparate ideas together to create amazing experiences? I do want to say that I'm proud of higher ed globally. We've just transitioned 5,000 universities, a million faculty, 20 million students in two weeks to fully online. And it's been incredible to watch this transformation from a historical standpoint. I've been able to shift the culture to become more entrepreneurial, which allows just so many other things to happen. Um, and it is hard, but once we got to that place, where you're learning every week kind of an agile framework, you can you know, increase the rate of change and experimentation across the whole system. Mr. Minister, I would like first of all to thank you for your time. Just being here uh, give me uh, hope for the future. It's a global project derived from a global issue that has a global solution, but also local solutions. It, it is absolutely crucial at this stage to look at everything in its context. Think global, act local. I'm not saying anything new, but this is the time. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.